Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I would film a quick tack up and ride. It's not too long, bit of fun. So i just gone back from school, got changed, got down here, and today he was loving the scratches. So once he'd had plenty of scratches, I took his rug off. There we go, nice swoop off. And I started brushing him after some more scratches. He loves the scratches. So I just gave him, well first picked out his feet, then brushed him over with a magic brush just to get the dirt off mainly his legs that are dirty, he's quite a good boy at keeping clean. And then I just went through his mane with a bit of detangling spray and his tail um, and brushed that through. But one thing he has been doing is, I'll use this brow on his mane and once I've finished brushing his mane, he'll shake and it all goes crazy again. Which you'll see him do in a minute when I get onto his mane. Yeah, he, he did it over there. I do like to make sure he's nice and clean so he's happy to put all of his stuff on. So today I put the hunter green on to match my hickster jumper. Then we got the saddle on. I tried to cut down the clips a bit because they were quite long. Then got his girth on. He is one thing, he is such a good boy tacking up. Like he, he'll open his mouth for the bit he's fine with the girth and that was one thing with my other pony he was really bad he's still really bad with the bit and the girth which is annoying sometimes then i got in the tack room took off my welly boots and put on my riding boots we did actually get two more drawers for um over here and we still haven't organised them, so they're a little bit, everything's a bit everywhere back there. And I also did redo my hair because sometimes when I'm brushing and bending down, it just gets a bit crazy. Then I did put my thinner gloves on today because my, on my dressage bridal, I've got quite thick frames. And I put my stamp shield on. So today I just wanted to focus on getting his muscles moving because it's really cold. It's too cold to ride tomorrow. So I just wanted to kind of get his muscles moving. And we have got a bit more light now. Also, do not judge my riding. He was quite lazy, but we were just trying to kind of get him moving. So he's not kind of all stiff and cold. Tried to do a bit of a gallop seat there. Didn't look very good. Then got off. I didn't want to film loads of riding. So I just filmed a few clips at the start and a few clips at the end he was a really good boy though and when we did our trot poles he was super so now back in the stable taking off his saddle and my mum was helping me here which was very nice of her she she took my tack to the tack room Ruggy back on so he's nice and warm and I used to hate putting this rug on but I've gotten used to it now I just don't like doing the neck and then after a few kisses I did take him out to the stable outside put his head collar back he actually walked off with his head collar then he got some treats 
which he really enjoyed. He loves those treats, the unicorn ones, and he loves a good carrot, so he's got a few for himself. It has been pretty much a full 24 hours since I put this blinket up. You see it? Eaten it in one day. I guess it is two of them because Prince and Ted both get it. But still, that's quite quick. And they weren't even in for most of that time. Well, some of it. So once he'd finished his treats, I put his bed down because you can't see it, but his bank, they, the banks were up. And then once I'd finished that, I got his feed and popped that in. I'm so slow, like doing anything bed wise. Maybe it's because I have a shavings fork and I'm using straw. And then I put his dinner in. And he's always so grumpy when it comes to dinner time. So when I'm going around his bum, I do just have to be like, oh, it's just me coming past. And then took off my gear, put back my woolly gloves and hat, put my wellies on and my coat. And I did actually organise the drawers a bit, but I didn't film that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.